Back at Wimbledon, there was somebody who was so disappointed by that French performance. I'm delighted to say that the defending women's champion, the reigning champion here, of the women's final last year, Marion Bartoli, has joined us. And you, you were generally shocked and disappointed by the French side. You thought, not again. I cried. God. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe. Um, we went down in the French bar to, um, actually, there is a lot of French population in London. And we are all really cheering for France. And uh, they really try towards the end, though. They really give their hardest. But um, I guess the German team was just too good. Nice. No, England fans can empathise with you on that. Oh, no, come on. It's, it's not so bad. There's always the tennis. Yeah, and right. We to, can we right. take you back to last year? It was a wonderful moment. Yeah. You, you obviously won. You climbed up there. I think it was up there to see your dad. Mm -hmm. We've got some wonderful pictures of this. Oh, really? What did you say to him? What did he say to you? Can you remember? Or was it all just a blur? Oh, can I do it to you? Like, yeah, 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 okay. I say, Dad, we did it. <laughs> oh, what a second hug. I'm doing well there. And what did he say back? Was he able to speak or was he just crying? No, it was like, uh, I know, I know, honey, I know. I'm so proud of you and that's it. But it was like so, so many emotions, really. Oh, so you've just won there. Now, we're just seeing the pictures now of you climbing up. When you think back to that and you see this out here today, Glorious Centre Court, do you wish you were still here playing? I mean, you obviously retired afterwards, but do you wish, in the back of your mind, you think, I'd love to be back here again, defending your title? Oh, it's a very special feeling because I could actually I can exactly remember how I felt a year ago that morning at that yeah. same moment about to come on court actually to practice and to warm up for the big day yeah. and um, I was a few hours away from changing my life and I didn't know about it yet so um, it's an extremely special feeling but I'm just so happy to be back as a champion yeah. as with my new life as well with all the new excitement project I am, I'm having and all my shoe collection and my bag collection my jewelry <laughs> and, and all the girly things I love to do absolutely but just a tremendous honor yeah. just really a pure honor so it shows how much it transforms your life it is. It is really. A, it has been a 360 degrees spin. It's just wow. massive U turn and towards the sky and the perfect ending and towards heaven, really. But uh, I work really hard for it. I work extremely hard. For well, it. you know exactly what it's going to be like then for Kvitova and Bouchard as they walk out here today. Mm -hmm. The nerves, the feelings. They warm up. Where's your Where's your money here? Who do you think has got the, the strength here? You know, it's difficult to say. I will put more uh, on Petra just because she won already mm. and she knows exactly how to play in the final. Also because the roof is closed and she has, you know, a huge serve. And I think being under the roof is going to help her to really hit more the targets and pick up her spot and not being disturbed by the win or by some different situation I can really uh, kind of creeping into her game and make her lose the rhythm she has so uh, I think I would favor a bit Petra but you never know when someone is just in the first time in the final that actually they're just going swinging and, and just hitting a beautiful mm. shots and just play the perfect match so I think it's going to be th a three sets I don't see a two setter but I see maybe Petra coming out on top of the end. And briefly on the men's final tomorrow I mean, so it's the first time I actually met in the final is it here Djokovic and Federer so excited. Uh, in the semi-final, before my friend asked me, so who do you see in the final? I'm like, mm. I think Roger against Novak. But this one, I think Roger has a shot to win. I think he definitely has. And, and what, I mean, coming back and winning again after all the press having on his back saying, you should retire, you should not come <laughs> back, your level is dropping, why are you still playing? Um, I think that he will dream about this ending. So um, it's going to be an epic Sunday final. And I think it's going to be absolutely packed. I, I can't see one green seats open on no, Sunday. I don't think, I think you're absolutely <laughs> right. I think the weather's going to get better as well, isn't it? And don't worry about the football because we've got the really? tennis. And we've loved listening to you on Five Live. Thank you. Absolutely brilliant on the radio. And also we've got the Tour de France coming to uh, Great Britain as well, which is very exciting. So you've given us that as well. Yeah, la <laughs> actually last year, so after winning in here, I got invited to a stage of Tour de France when I saw Chris from winning. He yeah. was in Mont Ventoux, which is one of the very of course, toughest ones. Yeah, I've been one. up there. I've cycled on that one. Exactly. So uh, I was really lucky. Club and. Sunday. Uh, Brilliant. And um, everyone is coming to France very soon, and uh, which is really exciting because it Tour is. de France is really part of our story. Absolutely, we've got the British Grand Prix as well, which we're going to talk about next as well. Coming it's to all Silverstone, about sports. it is, isn't it? It's fantastic. <laughs> but it's, it's all about sales for us because the sales are starting. Oh yeah. So for yeah. a woman, point of view, it's just more about <laughs> the, the sales again. actually. <laughs> Let's have a look at how Lewis Hamilton's been faring because he's given himself a great chance of of doing well on home soil, maybe winning the race as well because he was fastest in practice at Silverstone before oil pressure problems. How about that brought his Mercedes to a standstill? He's looking to close a 29-point gap on his teammate Nicole Rosberg in the championship standings. Final practice is live on BBC Two at 10 o'clock. So you know how special the tour 
de France is, Marianne. And we can now see Team Sky's Chris Froome. Mm -hmm. He's saying it's just massive. It's really special to be starting the race in his home country as defending champion. Now, Froome's main rival for the title is Spain's Alberto Contador. Contador. Another Briton, Mark Cavendish, is among the favourites to win stage one, which starts in Leeds and finishes in Harrogate, the hometown of Cavendish's mother. I went to secondary school in Harrogate. Have you ever been there, North Yorkshire? Uh, no. You must go to the Stray, <laughs> beautiful park area. It's where Cavendish's mum lives as well. Now, if you're heading out to support the tour, if you're going onto the route, you want to keep up with all that's going on, go to this BBC Sport website, bbc.co.uk forward slash cycling. You'll also find text commentary of the whole of the first stage, and you'll be used, Marianne, to fans painting the road and painting everything yellow. And my dad has actually got in on the act. He's painted my old car that I had when I was a little boy. Yellow, yellow. it used to be red. Yeah. Really? But in honour of the Tour de France and so also his bike. you fun with it? Oh, no, I mean, I love the Tour de France. Okay, it's a great fine. way to celebrate it, isn't you're, it? You're good to go to the bakery with a yellow car? Yeah, well, that's yeah. I can, I can yeah, still fit you, in, actually. You can totally do that. <laughs> I okay. had it when I was about four. But, I mean, I, I think he's hoping the helicopters will fly over the roof and get some shots of it, you know, Ooh. when they're following the Tour de France. And actually, we want your pictures. BBC Sports' Peter Shrevener wants your pictures. So tweet, hashtag BBC Cycling. Do the same as my dad. Paint something yellow for the Tour de France. That's Mike, all from us here at Centre Court. Mike, maybe you could get them to paint the lines in Wimbledon yellow. No, you can't I dare you. I dare you to saying, Marianne, to paint the lines yellow. Can... Yeah, we should. No, 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 no that's no, not no. going to work. Definitely not. No. <laughs> You're going to sit into trouble. <laughs> Shut out. You could try. No, I, dare you. You. I dare you to ask. Oh, it's yeah. been great. You've made a new friend there, um, Mike, with Marianne, haven't you? Got a hug, I invited her off to Harrogate. No, no, that's well, what I'm just saying. I was playing the role of a dad, remember? Unless you're going to aerate the surface. Fair enough. Mike, it's been great seeing you. Mike's been enjoying his time. She's turned her back on him now. She's, She's got to find somebody else. <laughs>